happy video day guys. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little experiment with you guys. So basically it has taken me a while to finally realize what is the undertone of my skin? What is the warmth? All that good stuff. It's taken me a while. And honestly, the way that I was able to figure out and I've been having very good luck purchasing things online is by doing this method that I'm going to show you guys right now. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you guys the foundations that I believe match me the best. We're going to go over what they say on the website is their description and then I'm going to show you how they compare to some of my other foundations and what the description says for those so you guys can see how almost everything has like almost a very similar description and also gives you an easier way for you guys to figure out your own personal skin type and this is a thing that you guys can do on your own with your own foundation so you guys can kind of like start to realize what is this color that they determine your skin to be what is the undertone and all that good stuff so Let's go ahead and let's get right into the video because we've got a few things to go over and we got to look up some stuff and we got to talk. So let's do it. I'm going to show you guys the foundations that I think match me the best. So since I've started doing this kind of method, guys, I've been having really good luck purchasing foundations online for my skin tone. Um, I honestly, a few years back, didn't really know what my skin tone was. I always knew that anytime I went to get color matched, they would always tell me that I was light or fair because I know you guys sometimes on screen say, oh, wow, but you're you're a lot darker than fair you couldn't be fair but my my actual face is actually pretty light the rest of my body is pretty dark I don't self tan but I live in an area that's always sunny so it's like really difficult not to have a tan so basically my face is very light though so whenever I would go to get color match they would always color match me very light and I would always at the end of the day go damn why does my face look so ghostly in every single photo? And I remember always having to put on so much bronzer to get myself to a color that I was happy with that I finally said, I need to take this into my own hands and figure out what is my color tone. All of us probably have one foundation in our collection that we really, really, really love. If you don't have that, that color yet, then this isn't gonna work for you. But you have to have at least one in your collection that you basically think the color is almost spot on for you in order for us to start the process. Now when I found this one, this is the one that kind of was able to let me find other foundations that matched me because I felt like this undertone and everything kind of worked so good on my skin that I was like, okay, I think I found out my description of what I am finally. So this one here is from YSL. It's the All Hours Foundation. And if you look at this color tone, this one here is BD35, which is Warm Caramel. The description says that it's a warm caramel, which is a light, medium, golden undertone. <laughs> now this is interesting that it's golden so like golden to me could be like a little bit of yellow maybe a little bit of pink and it's definitely warm so this one here is my almost perfect shade match that I love the way it looks that it looks beautiful I'm actually wearing this one today so this one here is from Beauty Blender this is the bounce foundation from them and I feel like this color is almost perfect to my skin tone so the color that I have is 2.30 Sometimes I feel like it could be a tad light, but honestly guys, it matches me like perfect. Like the reason that it's tad light is because I'm crazy and I think that I want to look tanner than I am and I'm not. So this one honestly guys is the perfect shade match. Like honestly, when I put it on, I'm like, wow. So when you go to the description on Sephora of what they say this color is, it basically says that 2.30 is a medium with warm undertones. So that description is honestly not 100% perfect to find other foundations. For the most part, I do know that the undertone from this foundation is warm and I like to keep that in mind. And I started to realize that a lot of my foundations have a warm undertone and I was kind of like, damn. So that's probably where I had been going wrong from before as I was getting neutral undertones and neutral undertones have like a reddish color to them. And my skin type leans a little bit yellow, not red. So when I would put on like those redder foundations, it would look off. Like it just didn't match. And I would be like, why does my skin like look so weird? And it was because I was picking the wrong undertone. So we do find from this foundation right here that I think that the warm and closer to the medium side is where I should start looking when I'm looking into foundations. So typically, when I look for foundations, I usually try to go in the yellowy range, but the problem is, is if I get too yellow, then I look too yellow. So it's kind of difficult for me sometimes to find the perfect shade match. So in the L'Oreal one, it's interesting because when I bought this one for 30, it does say that this one here is for people with light skin tones with a pinkish undertone, 
which is really strange because usually I buy yellow undertone. So what I think happens here is that this one does have a little bit of a pink undertone to it, but I feel like this shade range works a little, is a little bit on the warmer side already. So I don't think that that pink was really like a neutral pink. It's more of a warm pink. And I think that that's why this color works good for me. It's called Ivory Buff. I feel like the color looks really good on my skin tone. Do I think it's like the spot on match? Not as much as Beauty Blender. So now this is another foundation that guys, I feel like the foundation color kind of matches me pretty damn good. And this is Y2700 from Marc Jacobs. So it is described as a light with golden undertones. Do you see what we're getting here? So we definitely have a light with golden undertones. I think that that is basically within the same thing as the YSL. YSL said white, light, medium, but that's just because of the shade range. There's not as much shades. And this one matches me pretty spot on as well. I think it does a really good shade match. I do feel like the undertone is a little bit on the yellow golden instead of on the pinkish golden side. So that's the only thing that kind of throws it off a little bit. But for the most part, the shade match looks really good on the skin. So I already kind of know like where I need to aim in order for it to look pretty pretty decent on my skin that it kind of matches to the point that I'm like, this looks and good. This one right here is in the color Bisque. And when I purchased this one, it is because it says light with warm undertones. And I do feel like this foundation matches me pretty damn good. I would say it's a tad darker than the other foundations, but not enough for it to be super noticeable. And it looks really good on my skin and I really like it. I've been wearing it a lot lately and I really love the way it looks. So for the most part, those are probably the four foundations that match me the best. Now, as you guys can see in the swatches, there's a pretty noticeable difference between the last one that I put on, which is the Bisque from Laura Mercier, versus the first one that I put on, which is the Beauty Blender. Now, that is something that I do notice sometimes when I put on the foundation that I feel like that one is a little bit on the warmer side for me, and I would have liked it a tad bit lighter. For the most part, this is a method that you can use to kind of find out which description kind of works the best for you. Like always, it always depends on how much in the shade range Range there is because if there's not a huge shade range sometimes these descriptions get a little distorted but for the most part every single one of these foundations I purchased online without seeing them in person and every single one of them works for my skin the only one that maybe is a tad bit dark is the Laura Mercier one but not dark enough that I would say I need to return this it doesn't work you know what I mean it's just Maybe I would have liked maybe a tad bit lighter, but then again, I don't know if the lighter shade would have been too light and it wouldn't have looked good. This is the way that I was able to figure out my undertone. It definitely came mostly from this YSL one because I feel like the description was so spot on, warm with golden undertone. So sometimes when I go to purchase things, there is no golden undertone option. There's only pink or yellow. And that is where sometimes it gets a little bit tricky for me. And I usually aim yellow only because pink sometimes can be very pink. So if you guys have two or three foundations that you really like and you love the color of them, go on the website and see what the description is. Not every single word is going to be spot on as of what you need. Like for example, the Beauty Blender one saying medium. I know that's not accurate. I know I'm more of a light medium. And if there is very little in the shade range, I go light. I don't go medium because I know medium is going to be way too dark. But yeah, guys, that is the way I was able to kind of really figure out my undertones. And it has worked out for me. And everything that I've purchased online, like I've said before, I don't really have like a huge shade match issue. It's usually pretty good it almost feels like a lot of businesses are enjoying being online and there could be a chance that one day makeup will be purchased only online and we're gonna have to figure out these things and be a little bit quicker on judgment of what we are so that we could purchase the perfect product for ourselves and I feel like it's already going that way a lot of people like to purchase makeup online so this is a good way for you guys to figure it out from now you don't even have to have all these foundations guys you can go to the store and swatch get one that you feel like matches you and then go to a bunch of different ones and look for that same description and kind of swatch them on your arm and say okay well it looks to me like I am a warm undertone it looks to me like I do go a little bit more into the golden side and if it's between pink and yellow, sometimes I think I'd rather go yellow than pink. You know what I mean? So like that's a good way for you guys to figure that out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was somewhat helpful. And if I was, please don't forget to give me those thumbs up. Leave me your comments below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.